welcome to this chapter. So in the previous chapter, as we have initialized our first velocity, and uh, I have just changed some values. So here in the scale velocity, so whatever we have injected the velocity, here I have changed the speed to 0.2. And, uh, and the main where we have generated the velocity, so I have tried a negative value. So that is minus 3.5. And so, and then I just change the resolution to 0.3, and then so we have I have created this. We have a flipbook. So here, as you can see, it is looking more uh, good. So as you can see, the water surface is just traveling. Uh, on the top of the ocean, on the top of the submarine, and it is looking nice. So, and due to this, uh, uh, the velocity, so it is there. Some particles are inherited towards forward. So, we'll create more uh, velocities for much dynamic look. And so here. Now let's keep this velocity scale to 1 and we'll check this stick and collision. So as the particles will collide, so it will stick. So we'll keep it 0.1, so leave the value. And uh, then we'll go to the particle motion. Here we'll read the particles. So basically, so any particles which is unnecessary, which age is greater, so it will kill. And uh, this check kill outside the volume limit. So whatever uh, the particles if goes outside this boundary, so it will be killed. And so now then let's go to the droplets. So we'll just check on this. And here we'll blend with. So this is basically if any while simulating if any particles are uh, having unnecessary velocities or they are way too fast moving. So this will detect the droplets and uh, it will try to blend with the fluid. It will try and try to blend the velocity. So this is, bas this is best for the fast moving particles. And uh, so here if you need, you can add the vorticity attribute. So we'll add this rest attribute. Uh, we don't need this, so let's Keep it like that, and uh, so leave this. So here in the extrapolation mode, if so, you can change it to normal or fast moving colliders. So I have kept normal, and if you have a good GPU, so you can check this. Use OpenCL. So as I am simulating from the CPU power itself, so I have not checked. So we have changed some values. So now let's create another velocity. So here, if you see, these are the velocities going towards going back side. It is looking good. It is looking pretty nice. So now, so I'll just create another attribute warp. And so what I need is, I need uh, these velocities to go towards this direction. So this direction and this one, this direction. So we'll get a better splash kind of effect. And this will look good. So first take an add node and we'll create a point. Just check this. So we have created a point and it is somewhere here in a zero zero axis. So to bring the point to the center of the ship, so we just have to type a centroid expression. So it is easy. So type centroid and then double bracket. 
So and then just so here we have got a ship. So as we need in the center of the ship, so we'll take ship and and then here. And then as you can see, we have got all this. So how the centroid expression works, so you can see here. So we have dx, dy, dz, so we have to put that only. So I'll just put d and let's go x. And that's it. And just copy this and paste here. Just make it dy and enter and just paste here. And just make it dz and enter. So now we have got a point which is so now as you can see now it is at the center of the ship so it is looking good now. Just connect this to this so we don't have anything over here. Now Create a turbulent noise and import that point. So we have an import point attribute. So here is it is asking for the input. So second input so is here you can see we have one, two, three, and four. So this is the second input. So second input and leave as it is. bring a subtract so just connect this connect this so we'll just normalize and then just add so take this position also and then Add this and this, and then we'll inject to the V. So now you can see we have created some velocities, and now just create a multiply. So if you want, so you can give it to 1.5 and uh, reduce the frequency a little bit and make it 3D. Just keep it organized. Yeah, so we have let's take a parameter node. Now we'll name it as limit velocity and label it as well underscore scale. is done and just try increasing so if you increase so you as you can see so now the velocities are so if I go somewhere the velocities are in so let's take this turbulent and keep it let's make it let's make the default value so if I remove this so you can see we are having somewhere wherever where the point is going. So and the velocity is much higher. So we'll just so the velocity scale. So we'll reduce the velocity scale to 0 0.5. We don't want much. So you can try playing around the values. So let's make it somewhere. So we can make it more. Let's keep it 20 itself. 
so pretty good and we will name it as well underscore zero two so it will be easy to identify and this this is done and for this fan part we will just bring point so we have a point velocity soft here we just bring this and uh, we have basically different kind of noises so there's the basic there is curl noise so if you want the velocity from the object a lot of things so in the basic so here it is compute from deformation so we'll just set the value and uh, we'll set the value to 20 and if you see here now we have this this is looking nice and this is much higher so let's keep to 0.5 itself so yeah and let's just take a fluid source so i have not done one thing so which i have to do so here basically i don't want velocities for uh, for this i don't want for the whole body i want for the half body so i'll just delete uh, the half portion and just switch it off just select you can select and press delete Now we have this and this and now now it is looking good so let's increase a little bit of values so let's say more velocities more value more velocities so let's for now let's keep it to one And here in the fluid source, same go to the container settings, make it to velocity, and then you will be having uh, these are the velocities for visualization. Else, leave it as same. So, just control C, and here just press control V and connect this, this, and then we have velocities for this for the fan. So yeah so this for the fan it's looking good so just type null and this I'll keep it as fan underscore well make it as black color so there are there is one more velocity so how will make velocities with pyro and then import to the liquid so we'll see that also in the later classes so this is the basics of injecting velocities so just go one level up and as i have changed the start frame from two because i want the simulation to start from two so just go to the camera view and here so now take a merge node so we'll just create a merge here and we'll just drag and drag this press alt and drag so it will be duplicated correct this and this is done here and this will be the fan velocity so we are just bring the fan well and here just bring the well too so let's 
let's go here and let's try some so let's put these are this very high let's put some negative values and you can see the velocities and here let's make it a little higher not one so 10 will be good so we'll start with the 10 and this is pretty good So now here we have, so let's keep this as 0.75 and let's keep this as uh, somewhere around 10. Okay, now let's check what results we are getting. Just save every time whatever you make. Will take a little time for the flip book. Yeah. So guys let the flip book happen. It will take a little time. So see you in the next class. Thank you guys.